Hi, this is Dana and on this channel I speak about spiritual warfare. I have another channel on which I speak about astrology and the Facebook page on which I wrote prophetic writings. Uh, and you find the, uh, the Facebook page in my description, in the description box below. Uh, the usual caveat, there are individuals who are stealing my identity and using it in order to do fraudulent criminal activities. They are under investigation, under judgment and punishment. Uh, so please uh, avoid them uh, as much as possible, as they aim to harm others and to transfer karma. Um, in this video, God has guided me to talk. Actually, yeah, I, it's God's guidance, but mostly Jesus' guidance um, to talk about uh, something uh, pretty sensible, um, delicate situation, namely um, something specific to uh, bondage creation and 3D, uh, and that is the betrayal. Yeah, uh, this is basically the betrayal is embedded in everything that is uh, 3D. Uh, all of the deception is based on betrayal. Um, literally, people very seldom can create that much bondage or generational curse on you uh, unless somebody close to you betrays you. Um, everybody and um, all couples and uh, all families have divine protection. Now, uh, I explained in another video, uh, God gives you divine protection, but uh, as long uh, at, at any point in time when anyone uh, in your family betrays you, the divine protection then uh, <clears throat> fades away, not because God doesn't want to help you, but um, literally what happens is that um, <clears throat> the, your poor decision, your bad decision, uh, is influenced, influenced by uh, work with darkness or literally by dar dark spirits. Yeah? Either individuals working with them or literally by dark spirits, uh, which are tempting you. Yeah, for each level uh, throughout your uh, spiritual path, uh, at each level of elevation, there are dark entities specific to that level. That's why many uh, individuals uh, in uh, spiritual uh, field are joking in one way, but it's not really a joke. Uh, a new level, a new devil, uh, because at each level uh, there are specific entities uh, to that level of spiritual elevation those um, spirits or demons or whatever they are, entities, are either working by themselves against you to tempt you or are being used by humans to tempt you, to push you, to help you betray, to help you uh, make the poor choice in order to use you, in order to steal your rights and so on. Uh, when this happens, literally darkness claims you. Yeah, <clears throat> so this is very important to understand that um, the um, choices you make, literally, when darkness claims you, um, basically, you must. This is also the um, how to say the core uh, nutshell uh, concept of the sacrifice ritual. They do a sacrifice ritual on you. Uh, and if somebody from your family who presumably has the rights over you, according to their rules, then uh, darkness comes to claim you, basically. Yeah. Uh, so at that point in time, uh, literally, it's not that God doesn't want to help you, but it's mandatory that you, that you fight for yourself, that you reject the temptation, that you reject uh, the uh, programming done by others through darkness on you in order to betray, because the darkness claimed you, and God is not negotiating on your behalf with the darkness. It is your responsibility to carry on that fight, which includes a lot of things, healing as well, all of what I've been speaking about, for example, um, in order for you to defeat that darkness and to elevate. God will help you carry on the fight. God will help you elevate. But God will not fight in your place. 
because this is your responsibility. And as I said, since darkness claimed you, you must prove uh, that it was not uh, your intention, that this is not uh, what you choose to do with free will. You must prove that. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, um, in this spiritual fighting, there are also beautiful uh, things, but there are also sad things. Beautiful things uh, appear when you actually uh, encounter uh, individuals from your lineage, uh, people who you never met, people who have uh, totally different light from a different continent, uh, but actually you are much more connected with them because it's a soul um, lineage uh, as opposed to, for example, blood lineage, people that have been in your life all your life since you were incarnated into this existence, right? Um, so those are beautiful moments when usually God... Um, celebrates this kind of moments by gifting the two of you or many of you if uh, there are many um, moments uh, unique moments of uh, experiencing what it means to be from the same lineage and uh, when I refer to this I refer to uh, energy work and miracles that God performs at those particular times in order to teach you um, what it means to be from the same uh, soul lineage yeah uh, I experienced this mostly in my spiritual journey uh, when I met people on totally different continents where I've never been in my life, in this incarnation. Um, and um, God performed specific miracles in order to help us realize that we are from the same lineage and to see what that means, what we could achieve and, and so on. This is also why God um, uh, wants uh, 5D communities to be created in order for individuals from the same lineage to come together. Um, now, um, at the same time, though, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, sad experiences in spiritual fighting. Throughout your bondage breaking, you will learn about a lot of betrayals, many, many betrayals. Um, because, as I said before, none of what happened in 3D could have ever been possible uh, if people were uh, making the right choices. None of it. None of it could have happened. Yeah. Um, well, unfortunately, it happened. It is what it is. Uh, we got to deal with it. We got to fight through it. And we must win. And we will win. Regardless. And this is a special message and a special dedication from me, not from God, for specific someone, regardless who in the lineage is betraying, we will win. We, the lineage, will win with God together. This is a very specific message for someone. Yeah. Um, you, uh, back to our topic, uh, you must learn in your spiritual fighting. Um, and this is something that God said to me early on in when I started spiritual fighting consciously. And I, I rejected <laughs> the idea. But God basically said, you are now entering uh, in a different, uh, a, new, uh, a different level of consciousness. Uh, and you must learn to accept betrayal. And to, you must learn to look at it from a higher perspective. Now, what this means is not to accept that betrayal is okay to happen. Uh, it just means that when somebody betrays you, especially somebody close uh, to you, or to your lineage, um, you must learn uh, to detach emotionally. And you do this uh, basically by looking from a higher perspective, um, and this is what I have been trying throughout all my videos to share with you, uh, the, this wisdom of a higher perspective over things uh, and emotional detachment, um, which basically means that you must understand we are in 3D. The specific of the 3D is the bondage creation. There are individuals who are going back and forth, um, are not willing to make the step in order to heal and to make the right choice. Um, some of them are people real close to you. Some of them might be your parents, your spouse, 
your ex-spouse, <laughs> your children, uh, whatever. Um, but you must understand this is the specific of, uh, of this uh, area and uh, this is an assignment. Uh, this is a, a new mindset that you need to embrace, namely that you are here on an assignment. Uh, you're not here to live the type of life which we have been uh, projecting and building for ourselves um, up until the moment when we became uh, aware of, of the reality of 3D. Yeah, uh, Namely, the 9 to 5 job or whatever business you have and then just go party and so on. Yeah. That's not why we came here. That was the illusion which was projected at us uh, in order to keep us busy uh, with the consumerism society to keep shopping, to keep going to work, to keep going. This is not why we came here. The, the assignment for 3D, I already explained in other videos, is to break, your bo to break these bondages created. Uh, and betrayal is part of these bondages. This is how come bondages were created through betrayal. I can uh, testify God will stay next to you and will help you throughout uh, the entire spiritual fighting. But you must do the spiritual fighting. It's, it must be your choice to do the spiritual fighting and not to betray and not to take uh, opportunities which are just literally just... Um, ways in which they, uh, the darkness specific to uh, each level of uh, your elevation uh, is tempting you. Either directly, if you're uh, knowledgeable in uh, spirituality and you have a pre astral presence, or indirectly through people, one of the two. Um, this, is, this is very important. And one of the ways to deal with all of this is to have uh, the um, higher level uh, and higher perspective understanding of um, this is what I would recommend to um, um, <clears throat> research when you deal with a betrayal because uh, for me that was uh, something I couldn't embrace initially when God said you must get used with the betrayal you must uh, accept betrayal not that it's okay to happen but you must accept that it happened why so you won't keep that issue on the back of your mind and go constantly back and forth why that one betrayed why this one said this why in order to avoid that um, i recommend that you do your own research um, even if you don't really have uh, that much um, attraction for this kind of investigation type of work um, try to understand and to receive divine guidance why that individual betrayed it's usually because of another bondage which has been created many times you can actually learn to what extent it was the fault of that individual what were the intention of that individual did he actually intend to betray like that what were the motivations uh, what were the character faults which led him to make that decision and to what extent it was a work of darkness done on him. Um, so basically you would have a deeper, for me, this is how I deal with it. You get a deeper understanding of what happened, who betrayed, okay, to what extent it was his or her fault, to what extent it was a bondage. To what extent it was a free will choice, to what extent if it was a bad choice and a poor judgment, what were the fault of characters of character that pushed that individual to make that bad choice? And for me at least, um, understanding the situation and all the factors that played into it, um, <clears throat> it depersonalizes the situation and you detach emotionally from it. You just Treat it like a case study. And you understand, uh, first of all, um, what happened. And you, by understanding what happened, you transmute that energy and you detach yourself from that situation and from those people. And you cut them off. And you cut them off. Yeah. Uh, after a betrayal, you must cut them off. Otherwise, they will drag you down with them. Um, but you shouldn't cut them off... Um, only to get rid of them and then still preserve 
uh, the uh, pain, the uh, uh, sorrow, the whatever feeling, negative feelings you hold, or hate even worse, uh, or, or so. Uh, because this is damaging to you. This is not helping you. Um, and just uh, li literally just cut them off and detach. You are welcome and I uh, invite you to find different ways to deal with this if, if um, um, you can. And if you succeed, then that's perfect. But if you do not succeed to find a personal way uh, in order to deal with betrayals coming uh, or contributing, contributing into creation of the uh, bondages which were created on you, um, then um, I uh, offer you this um, topic, this uh, recommendation, namely investigate the situation, understand uh, from higher perspective exactly what happened, who um, contributed to what extent to that situation, because many times also this will be extremely useful because you will learn that it's not just one individual, it's one who betrays, but in that betrayal there are many individuals from your life which are involved. There are many who encouraged him to go that way, many who uh, programmed him to go that way, many who offered opportunities and, and uh, rewards if he goes that way. It's still his choice. He's still guilty of betrayal. Uh, you still cut him off, but you understand why and to what extent it was a um, personal decision or uh, a work with darkness. Yeah. I'm going to cut this short uh, This because uh, I also don't have enough memory on my card. But uh, I also think I said everything that there is to say, to say about this. I promise you God will stay right next to you uh, in all of this. I also promise you that um, you will do your own healing in order to forget this and so on. Uh, but also God uh, always uh, uh, does his own work of healing your heart and soul chakra from this kind of betrayals, uh, even unbeknownst to you during sleep time uh, and so on. Um, and uh, he will be on the other side waiting for you um, once you decide to just cut off that uh, situation, that person, that location, that image, that uh, experience and so on, and you decide to move on. Yeah, I, I promise you that. I, I know uh, God and I know he will never um, <clears throat> let you down as long as you choose God. As long as you choose God. He will never abandon you. He will never forsake you. Um, it's just a matter of making uh, the right choice, choice and namely choosing God. Um, okay, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Uh, if you don't, then I wish you success in your bondage breaking.